New details tonight on how a small town is supporting the family of a fallen officer. We're a small community and this is what you do when you live in a small town. You just try to support everybody and lend a hand when you can. Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. The Sarasco community showed up in droves to benefit uh, for the loved ones of Officer Ross Bartlett, who was killed in a crash last Friday. Those who attended talked about how tight knit the town is and what a loss like this means. Channel 8's Mackenzie Johnson joins us live from Sarasco with the story. Mackenzie. And that's right, Rod and Megan, the legendary Red Rooster restaurant and lounge right behind me has calmed down now, but just a few hours ago, this place was packed as people showed up to, to honor the life of Ross Bartlett. Now, this was just the first night of the benefit and half of the proceeds are going back to Bartlett's family. Everybody finds out about it quickly and even if they didn't know the officer really well, they, they just want to be supportive. It seemed like the entire town of Soresco made its way to one of the restaurants that Ross Bartlett frequented. Despite not knowing him personally, many said it was still important to show up for one of their own. We take, I think, somebody, the, the officers and the people that support the town, we take them for granted some time, and, and then when there's a loss, we, real, we realize how much they do for us and how much of a sacrifice that, that, that it is. And, uh, and then that's when we think more about it and realize how important it is to us to have their service. And for those who didn't know Bartlett, they got to learn more about him at the benefit, even in something as small as the menu. The Bartlett special was flying out of the kitchen. It consisted of hamburger steak, homemade onion rings, gravy, and green beans. The owner of the restaurant says it was one of Bartlett's favorites. One woman says she actually met him a while ago through an unlikely run-in. Uh, well, about four and a half years ago, I actually had the opportunity to meet Officer Bartlett personally when I got a ticket from him. Despite their less than optimal meeting, Hartshorn says she knew when she heard of his death, she had to do what she could to support his family. Because while Bartlett was a fireman and police officer, he was also a husband, father, and grandfather. And a benefit like this is a way to remember the person behind the badge. She says it's heartwarming to see that the people in the community are doing what they can to honor Bartlett. The firemen, they've done a wonderful memorial with the fire truck and the flags that they have on it. I mean, it just really looks very nice. It's very touching to see it. And it's just a very sad, sad accident. Tonight was only the first night of the benefit for Bartlett's family. The legendary Red Rooster will be open again tomorrow and Thursday from 5 to 9 p.m. We'll be keeping you updated on this story throughout the week. Reporting in Soresco, Mackenzie Johnson, Channel 8 News.